Hi everyone, Happy New Year! I think this is my first video that I've done in 2022, so I still can say it even though it's like the 10th of January or something like that. I just thought I'd have a little chat with you to kick off the year, talk about last year, this year, what's going on, and reveal some exciting news! So I've been back home for about a week now, back in London after spending Christmas at my parents' house, which was so nice and I really didn't want to come back to London. Don't know why, feel in a weird mood this year. I don't know about you guys, but normally at New Year, I feel so excited for the next year and I get planning and thinking and really hopeful and like excited. And I feel really nostalgic about the past year and I'm like, oh wow, that's a whole year of my life done. And I reflect on what I've achieved and stuff like that. This is the first year ever where I haven't felt like that. Like, New Year happened, didn't even reflect on the past year, didn't even have any goals for this next year, or maybe I did, but not like solid written down goals. Like, one goal is I'd like to read more, but I'm not like putting that into plan or action and being like, right, I have to read one book a month or whatever. Like, I'm just like, try and read more, Joel. Do you know what I mean? And yeah, I just felt really like, not down at New Year, but just numb, just didn't feel anything. It didn't feel happy or excited and didn't feel like really sad or anything. I was just like, yeah, just wanna continue doing what I'm doing. And I think it comes from a place of being really content with 2021 and everything that happened that I'm like, yeah, let's just keep going. Like, I don't need any big changes or not excited for anything major because I'm really happy with the way my life's going. So I think that's why. I did a little room update over on my Instagram um, my room, as you can see, is still a bit messy, stuff everywhere. There's a shelf that I've bought just there that's leaning up against the wall. I've ordered a brand new bed as well, which has cost me an absolute fortune and won't arrive for a couple of months. But it's like the perfect bed. I've spent ages looking for beds, trawling bed shops online and in person, and I finally found the one I wanted. It was like double the price I wanted to pay, and I was like, oh, should I just settle for a bed that's the price that I wanted, or should I just fork out the money for the perfect bed. And so I decided to fork out the money, which is fine, but I'm like, oh gosh, what a way to start the year. Let me know if you guys have any New Year's resolutions. Normally I'm a big fan of resolutions. It's not that, I'm not one of those people that's like, oh, they're so pointless, no one ever sticks to them. I think aspiring to be a better version of yourself is good in any any case. Even if you don't stick to your New Year's resolution, even if it lasts one month, that's still one month of like you trying to better yourself. So I'm a big fan of them. Just this year I don't really have any. I'm having a very quiet month as well because January is really quiet for me in, in the work on social media. It's usually very quiet. Voiceovers is usually very busy at this time of year but haven't had any so far. So I'm just enjoying the peace and quiet really and getting things done like focusing on my room, focusing on me and investing in myself and reading self-help books and fiction and taking myself away. So I think this is the thing with books. I feel like I I'm not balanced with them where I'm either fully in on self-help and I don't read any fiction. The only time I read fiction is when I go on holiday and because I haven't been on holiday for like two years, I haven't had chance to read. Obviously I know you're probably thinking, Joel, you've just been to Canada and you've been to the US. Um, yeah, that was a little bit like a holiday, but obviously I'm not, I'm talking a holiday laying by the pool every day with a book every day, like, and me and Leah don't have time to do that when we're away filming. So the last time that I went on holiday, like a pool holiday, was in October 2019. So I am actually going on holiday with my parents um, and my brother and his boyfriend. When is it? April. So only a few months and then I'll, we'll be having our first family holiday in a long, long time and I cannot wait. I'll just be laying by the pool every day. We'll be going on bike rides and just hanging out and hopefully it'll be really fun. Um, Something just happened where I just disassociated and just like detached myself. And obviously I was like, oh, I'll just cut that out of the video, but maybe I'll keep it in and show you. Does this ever happen to anyone else? There I was chatting away, having a great time. And then suddenly I just go, <laughs> and like my brain goes blank. And I, I swear I like black out for a minute. So I can't even remember what I was thinking about or whatever. Does that happen to anyone else? Is that something to be worried about? Mm. Anyway. I'm sure the title of this video is something to do with my soulmate, and I know that's probably why you've clicked on this video, so I better get to it. I have met my soulmate, and I think it's time that I introduced you. So, basically, I've not actually met him in person yet. What happened was, before Christmas, <laughs> I got an email from this person. Um, I thought it was spam, and it was from 
a psychic drawer, a psychic sketcher. <laughs> You can see where this is going. Oh my gosh, it was so fun. So um, it was like a spam email and I think it came to the Joel and Leah inbox and it was like for, I think it was like 20 quid or something, I will draw your soulmate. Give me some information about you and I will draw what your soulmate looks like. Now, just to be clear, I don't believe in psychics. I'm sorry. Um, I know some people will be like offended by that. I'm sure, I, I joke about myself being psychic, but I feel like, even though I call it psychic, I talk about it being like intuition. And there have been a number of scary occasions where I've just had this feeling and things have happened. I'll give you two examples. Firstly, when Lucy was leaving her job like two jobs ago or something, I said to her like, oh, are they gonna get you a present? Like chocolate cake and a Ted Baker handbag. And like, we just laughed and joked about it. I didn't say that for any reason, I just thought, Oh, chocolate cake, like, you know, it's nice. Everyone likes chocolate cake. And a Ted Baker handbag. Lucy doesn't own anything Ted Baker. Lucy's not into brands like that. I don't know why I said it. Anyway, I then went on holiday to Florida and I got a text from Lucy being like, oh my gosh, how did you do that? You'll never believe what work got me for my leaving gift. And they got her a chocolate cake and a Ted Baker handbag. How weird is that? And I was like, what? <laughs> How? Like, that's so random. She doesn't own anything Ted Baker. She's not a fan of Ted Baker. I mean, she might be now because she's got one, but like, that was so random. Okay, and the second one, I was with Leah and we were working in this co-working space and we wanted this little booth, this private booth, but they were all taken. And so we kept on walking around like every few minutes to check and they were taken. So we're like, right, we'll go and sit in this very public area. It's fine. And we were just talking, having a full-blown conversation. And suddenly, I, I probably did that disassociating thing where I was just like, and Leah was like, what? And I was like, one of the booths is free. And she was like, you're sat here, how can you know that? And I was like, I don't know, I just think one of the booths is free. So Leah was like, right, I'll go check and then I'll let you know. So Leah left and went and checked and she was like, Joel, one of the booths is free, it's just become free. And I was like, how have I done this? Anyway, that's a massive tangent. So I believe I have like intuition stuff, but I don't really believe in psychics, but I thought this would be really fun. As a single man, I was like, I wanna know what my soulmate looks like. It turns out it was kind of a scam. I mean, I did get what I'd paid for, but after signing up and paying for it, no joke, I got about 60 emails being like, tarot card reading, do 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 do, mystic meg, do, 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 do. like all these things, like constant junk, 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 and I was like, what have I done? Like, I've literally walked right into this. Anyway, a couple of days later, this email landed in my inbox saying, your sketch is ready. I just wanna say, I don't advocate for tarot readings, I don't advocate for those sorts of things, I just thought this sketch would be a little bit of fun. I got sent this document, and you know what, I'll put it on screen, I got sent this document, and it says soulmate reading in form and sketch, so as part of this, she writes about your soulmate and gives you a picture of what she thinks they look like. <laughs> so fun. It says a possible time frame, six to eight months doing the exercises. So she does put exercises in here that I have to do every day in order to get this boyfriend. Um, but in six to eight months. So that's in 2022. I've been single for like a year and a half now, so I, and I'm really happy being single. And now I'm starting to feel like I don't want anyone else in my life yet. But maybe I'll feel differently in six to eight months. It says how they will show up through a friend that are a couple. So I'm thinking of my couple friends. I've got Drew and Anna, Tom and Immo. Like, who have I got? I've got couple friends, and they're gonna introduce me to someone, I think, apparently. Or Leah and Atch, they might introduce me to someone. Hmm. Okay, so firstly, she's got the year wrong. There's lots of typos in this, by the way, which is fine. Some people are dyslexic, but there's lots of typos. Like, she's talking about the year 2021, which I think she means 2022, so it's probably not very professional. But she says, I'm assuming 2022 will be a year of renewal for you. There are positive changes in your work which will be driven by a woman who will serve as a guide in each of your steps. Now, that could mean Leah. Like, any time I hear work and woman, I'm like, well, Leah. But my coach, my business coach, is also a woman and she helps me with my work and bringing about, you know, changes and like going through my social media, seeing what works, what doesn't work and changing things up and repeating things. And so maybe it means Laura. It's saying that my soulmate is very close to materializing in a relationship. Do not despair. Don't worry, Han, I'm not despairing. I'm literally the other way now where I'm like, I kind of don't want anyone to ruin my vibe going on. Um, but I'm open to it. Okay, so it says the qualities of my soulmate. It says this man is reliable, 
good. Loyal, that's like the major one. Stable, okay, good. Calm, sensual, romantic, generous, focused on his goals, strong and tenacious, always looking for stability in all aspects of his life. Okay, I like the sound of that. That's like, I feel like that's what everyone is looking for in a partner though. <laughs> Lover of good food. Good. In fact, a good way to fall in love with him is through his palate. Well, that's not good because I can't cook. Do you know what I mean? Like that's, my partner needs to cook, not me because I'm not cooking, I'm baking. Um, he enjoys the outdoors and feels a special connection with nature and each of its elements. That is a major part. I need someone that can love going on country walks, going out to the countryside every few weeks, going on weekends away, dog walks, getting muddy. They don't mind about getting muddy. I once dated someone who was so precious about getting muddy and I'm like, you're literally on a dog walk. Like, why have you worn these designer trousers? You're on a dog walk. Not my vibe. He hates lies and betrayal. Defender of truth and justice. Yeah, that's everyone. Observant and perceptive. Da 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 da. Stubborn. Now that is something I don't like. See, I'm not stubborn. I'm someone that is very plastic and like, I go with the flow. Plastic? Elastic? I don't know. I go with the flow, so that is stubborn annoys me. In love, he is romantic and faithful, prefers stable relationships, so that once he's attached to you, you should know that he will not leave soon. Well, that's good, because <laughs> as everyone has seen from my coming out video, when I started crying, it was because I didn't want, ever want to be left. It's really embarrassing having cried online. There's a video that will go out, I don't know if it's out yet, or like I opened something from my PO box and started crying. I think I cut out as much as I could because I was like, I can't cry again. Like I've had one crying video on the internet, I can't have two. Anyway, let's skip the rest of that because it's boring. So I know you want me to get to the sketch. So actually I'm going to skip to the sketch now because I don't want to keep you waiting. And then it says how to attract this person faster. Obviously I was really nervous because, you know, I want my partner to be handsome and I was like, oh no, what if they're really not my type and then it's really awkward, that's life over. Anyway, I feel like I recognise this guy. I, I know him and I'm like, this is either one of two reasons. Either this means he is my soulmate and it means as soon as I saw this picture of him, I felt this instant connection like I've known him all my life, like you see in the movies. It's either that or is the fact that she's just found someone on TikTok or social media or a, a minor celebrity and has drawn them. Because I recognize this guy, guys, and I need your help. This is what he looks like. This is my soulmate. And I'm really happy with that. Like, he's handsome. I like the little bit of mustache and a little bit of stubble. I like that. I prefer that to clean shaven, I think. Thick eyebrows, good. Good hair. Yeah, good strong jawline as well which is great. Ultimately, yeah, I think he's very good looking, but again, I, I can't shake this feeling that I know him from somewhere. Not in my real life, but I, I recognize his face. Where from? Is he famous? Do you guys know who he is? Um, and if anyone knows who he is in general, just tell me, because he's apparently my soulmate, so we need to meet. And any of my couple friends, it's apparently it's you that's gonna introduce me, so do your work, please. Anyway, so it says how to attract my soulmate faster. There's a whole load of things in here, but I thought the funniest thing, and I won't go through the rest of it, it's, it's very long and boring for you guys probably, but saying the quickest way to attract is to clear out your life. So it's saying literally physically, clear out all of your closets and your um, drawers and your room. Once you've physically cleared out your life, you'll also mentally clear out and you'll then make room for this person. It's saying that you need to make room for this person to come in, which makes sense, because as I've said, I feel like I've got no room for anyone at the moment. So maybe I need to do that, but I just find it hilarious. It's like, how to get your soulmate faster? Clean your room. <laughs> and as you can see, I really need to do that. But anyway, yeah, that's my soulmate. So maybe 2022 will be the year that I meet this soulmate. Uh, but I just thought it was a bit of fun, and I was like, why not? I'm gonna turn it into a YouTube video. Um, hopefully you found it as entertaining as I did. Thank you for watching. Let me know your New Year's resolutions or any of your goals for this year. I am excited for this year. I think as the more January goes on, the more I'm getting back into the groove of things, but it's been very slow. I've been very, like I haven't wanted Christmas or New Year to end. I also haven't felt very well rested. I don't know why. And so I just feel like I need another, like another Christmas to enjoy, but um, you can't get that. You can't get what you want, Joel, all the time. So thank you for watching. If you're new here, then please click subscribe. I post videos every single week. And if you want to follow me on any other platforms, I post on Instagram, very different stuff to on here. I also post on TikTok, very different stuff to on Instagram and on here. So they're all very different. So go find me on all those platforms if you like. And if you don't like, then that's fine. But come back next time for another video. 
Uh, love you guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye.